Hello folks, hope you're all good. Just thought I'd try out a new van. I'm doing a bit of window shopping. So I've just brought my van into Motorhome Warehouse in Warminster and it's having its cam belt changed and a service at the same time. I know, expensive eh? And uh, they allowed me to come and have a, a, a look around a few vans and take a few uh, pictures. So I'm sat in this uh, VW camper van at the moment. So it's going to have a wander around, see what else they've got. So this is a 70 Reg and it's just under 48,000. I just sat in that seat there. That's very hard, but it looks very nice inside. We've got some garage space in the back. The back rock and roll seats and a cupboard there. So the motorhome showroom is just on the outskirts of Warminster. It's got a little paddock here with a few really old vans. Ten reg VW there. A 19 reg there for 44,000. And they got some motorhomes out the front, a bigger area. So I'm going to go and have a look in a few of those. Empty Reg Transporter, yours for five pounds off fifty thousand. Very dark, if you ask me. Dark grey. This one's got some nice tomahawk wheels and the Goodrich all-terrain tyres. It's very smart. They said they've just had a good week. So there's a bit of a gap in this car parking area. But they've got a few here and a few behind me. Mostly motorhomes here. There's a Bolero over there, 13 Reg. An Airstream here. I think we're going to go and look in this one first. So this is a 13 Reg Besser car, 562. Not sure what the arrangement is inside, but it's three years younger than mine. It's like rear rear toilet here, gas bottles, locker. It's got the Melenko mirror covers on it. So 43,000 and it's three years younger than mine. But it's still the old style Fiat. It's gonna have a look inside large fridge by the looks of it. A low door and low step. So it's locked, which is a bit of a pain. So it's got a shorter lounge than mine, smaller kitchen than mine. It's got a French bed, I can see to the right here, and a toilet area at the back. Can't see how many miles it's done. It's quite smart. Here we go, so the French bed at the back. I did try one of these on a 2016 with a French bed, and they're long, long enough. Okay, if you're dangling the, your feet off the end, and not so bad, but if there's two of you in there and you've got a cut off, there's not much room. So you've got a cupboard and they've got the washroom there, which is going to be quite thin. It's got underbed locker there, a boat rack in the back, twin rear view cameras. And to be honest, looking at it, it's quite grimy. Obviously I'm comparing everything with mine and I do look after mine so what's it 44 grand for three years younger makes it interesting to know what mine would be worth 
So next door to it we've got a Swift Bolero 712. Looks like it's got twin single beds in the back, or SB, presume that gives that away. Gas locker, locker, longer than mine. Let's go and have a look at the front. So again, 13 reg, 43 grand. Old style Fiat cab, same as mine, I think it changed in 14, 14 or 15. I can see a dent along the front there, quite a large fridge. The um, stay on the top of the door is broken. Big Fiamma awning all the way along. Let's see if we can get in this one. So a newer version of mine. Quite smart seating, looks, looks quite well looked after here. Two lockers each side. This obviously makes up a double bed, a crossways. On mine, this seating on this side is six foot and a bit long, so it's a lot shorter here. But plenty of cupboards. So we've got a slightly shorter kitchen than mine. Decent sized fridge and freezer. And TV point there. And then through into the twin single beds with lockers underneath. Two foot six wide? They don't look very wide. They don't look very long. I know I'm perhaps a bit taller than most, but I think I would struggle. And a bit dark in here, but full width bathroom, so this is a good size. Similar to mine. I think probably mine goes back a little bit further than that. The shower there. The long shower, so that's quite good. So yeah, good sized bathroom on this one. Plenty of light in here. There's a small skylight in the bathroom, one above the beds, one above the cooker area, and the lounge, and the great big skylight at the front. That's what I like about mine, it's got plenty of light coming in. Yeah, it's nice. 44 grand now. So we're looking something a bit bigger. 65 reg. Auto trail tracker. So it doesn't look as long as mine. Obviously got bed across the top of the cab. Just shy of 50,000 pounds. So we've got the newer style Ducato cab. Slightly inbuilt awning, which is good. That's like mine. Big gas locker down here and a, and a step. Tall fridge. Window at the back. Is that over the bed or is that over the lounge? Let's have a look inside. So again, cosy lounge area. These seats obviously come out to double bed crossways and shows what I know it's not a bed at the top it's massive lockers all the way around you've got huge lockers here and there seems to be a drop down TV it's at the front here but huge locker space there yeah get plenty of stuff in there Good height, but it's a very tall van. When I'm standing up in it, and I've got inches to spare, so pays, pays, and for what you get, I suppose. So kitchen area here. So French bed. It's a bit wider. Lots of cupboard space. And then the washroom, just over here. So plenty of cupboards, decent sized shower, once you've got past the toilet.
Yeah, this floor's a bit scuffed here. I don't know if you get carpets with this one. But, uh, yeah, what was it? Just shy of 50,000. Good for someone or a family. So the next one along is a Swift Escape 664. Fiat Ducato, 130 horsepower, 66 reg. So late 2016, early 2017. And it's 47,000. No front skylight. So it might be quite dark inside. Couple of lockers. It looks quite high off the ground. There is a step to get in. An awning attached on the side, Fiamma awning. Let's have a look in this one. It wasn't me, Governor, honest. A bit. Uh, looks like it's come off there. I don't know if that's going to stay on, but I fixed it. Right, let's check in. Oh, it's a big step up because the step's not out. <laughs> yeah, it feels dark. Those skylights at the front, I think they're great. Look how dark it is in there. So, interesting, it's got a diner. I was interested in looking at one of these. Makes it up to a bed, table goes down, I guess. More cushions, more cushions. Quite a nice upholstery. Nice curtains. And no cupboards, just a bit of a shelf. Tiny shelf there, a couple at the other side. There we go, a couple all along. So again, smallish kitchen, there's the fridge. Fridge under the sink, so got a small fridge, Dometic fridge. Cupboards on the left, on the right hand side. I'll get me rights and lefts right one day. Bed looks a bit longer. Still only four foot something wide, four foot six maybe. Do quite like this for a I don't know how long this van is, it's got to be 7 metres, isn't it? And then we've got a washroom. Yeah, see I'm not a fan of these wet rooms. So a little sink to the left, toilet, and then you get your toilet covered in water once you've brought the curtain across. Oh no. There's a rail that goes all the way around, so you've basically got two foot by two and a half foot to stand in. Not bad though. Yes, I was looking at um, a Bessicar 454 2016 at one point, which had the same sort of layout as this. French bed, washroom at the side at the back. Uh, it wasn't a wet room, um, but the shower was small. The bed wasn't long enough for me to stretch out, so I like my Bentley. But this is quite nice, but again it's, it's a lot of money to an upgrade. If you wanted to upgrade from a 10 year old van to a 6 year old van, you've still got to pay another 20 grand just to get maybe a, f a fixed bed. Everything else is smaller, so it's all compromises. Let's see if there's anything else worth having a look at.